Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the cheapest razors on the market. One is a disposable, but the other is a double-edged safety razor. So stay tuned, because I'm... That's right, I am Dave Shades. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at The Dave Shaves. Hit me up on Facebook.com and Patreon.com slash The Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. All right, so today we are doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the cheapest razors on the market. One is a single blade Bic disposable. You can get a bunch of these for like a buck. And the other one is a double-edged safety butterfly razor from Dollar Tree. Now I have done a head-to-head -head comparison with this one in the past, uh, a few years ago. And it actually, I did it with another, another disposable and it actually came out pretty good. I don't remember which one was the winner, but we'll find out which one is the winner today. But I do know I've had decent results with it. I also know that I've had decent results with this razor if you pair it with a good blade. So with that in mind, I am actually gonna pair it to give it a fighting chance with one of the most, if not the most aggressive blade on the market, arguably, and that is the feather blade. So we're gonna pair that with this, and then we're gonna do a head compare, head to head comparison with this, and we're gonna see how it comes out. I'm curious. Neither one is what you would consider a very good razor. They are both cheap, and they're both widely not well liked. They're both well, widely hated, basically, for lack of a better uh, expression or thing to say or whatnot. So it's going to be interesting to see how it comes out. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, let's talk about what else we're using. It's pretty simple today. We're doing pretty basic because the focus is on these two razors. So we are using uh, my Derby Shave Stick. Not much to it. It's not scented, nothing like that. It just basically smells like soap. With that, we're going to be pairing that or we're going to be lathering that, I should say, with my generic synthetic shave brush, which I've had soaking here. And then after all is said and done, we're going to be finishing up with just a post-shave balm, a Duke Cannon aftershave balm, ice cold. Um, I don't want to go big today. It's not about the aftershave, anything like that. So I'm just using something that I know is going to soothe my skin, especially if this shave doesn't go super well. So uh, that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. First, we're going to splash some water on my face and then we are going to use my Vaseline for men lotion that I use the pre-shave and then we'll go ahead and get lathering. All right. Now, as we're getting started here, if you want to go ahead and put in the comments below what your thoughts are on either of these razors, if you've had a chance to use either of them, I'm really interested to find out. Um, also, if you happen to remember what my actual results were of these razors, let me know that in the comments below because truthfully, I have not had the time to go back and re-watch these videos, so I'm honestly not sure and I don't really have a very good memory of what my reactions were. I know I liked them. I know I didn't necessarily hate them and I know they were decent. I'm just not sure exactly what the reactions were. So if you happen to know that off the top of your head, feel free to put that. Love to have it as a discussion. Also, one thing I've noticed is As years progress, sometimes your reaction to certain razors, blades, etc. does tend to change. 
So if, again, if you happen to know what my previous reactions were, put it in the comments because I would love to know the differences between my reactions from that and my reactions today. So it, it'll be interesting to, to do that comparison as well. All right, so let's go ahead and got my skin nice and moistened up a bit. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit of lotion, just a little bit. It's just some basic Vaseline for men's lotion. If you've been watching this video, my videos enough, you know that I've been using this for quite a while as a pre-shave. Um, it works nice. It moistens up the skin, keeps everything good. So it works well. All right, uh, next. Let's go ahead and get lathering up, shall we? Again, we're using my derby stick, so nothing super exciting there. Just gonna run it under some water to moisten that up a bit. I don't need a whole lot of moisture with this stick because I have had my synthetic brush uh, soaking for a little while now. So we definitely don't need much. Because this thing holds moisture pretty well. All right. Start lathering up. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to lather a bit because I don't wanna it's gonna be a little runny to start with, I have a feeling. And again, if you have any comments about any of the other products I'm using today, feel free to put that in the comments as well. And no, I'm not shaving off my beard, I am just putting it all over and I'm gonna kind of wipe off where the line should be. Hopefully I don't accidentally shave my beard off. It's a very real possibility. Wouldn't be the first time I've accidentally shaved off a beard. All right. The lather actually isn't bad. Um, it worked out pretty well. I guess I this wasn't quite as wet as I had thought. So that's nice. So we're basically just going to split the, the face right down the center or as close to the center as I can get it. We're going to use the disposable razor on the left side and then we'll use the uh, butterfly razor on the right. And I just realized I forgot to actually load the blade. So that seems like an important thing to do. So let's go ahead and get that done real quick as well. All right. There's not much blade gap on this, so we'll, we'll really see how it how it comes out. All right, so let's. I like running my razors underwater before I start. All right, and I've actually been known to cut myself with this razor here, so I'm going to be very careful. Just go with the grain. So far, not bad. I mean, it did take off the, the hair quite nicely. If you can see it on the edge there, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is. So it really did take it off quite nicely. And I had a few days worth of growth here.
And right there is a nice place to cut that line in half. One of the things I will tell you right off the bat is I'm actually, this is a very smooth shave so far. Not much irritation. I was actually go able to go over the my mole, and I, I was going to say I didn't nick my mole, but I did. But to be fair, that's because my mole has been swollen here a bit from when I nicked it in one of my previous videos. Actually, both of my previous videos. Um, and as I've mentioned, once you once I nick it once, the swelling stays and it has a while to before it goes back down. But the, it's not bleeding quite as much as it was with the other one, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides real quick. See how this side does. I'd be very careful because I still have a healing nick from up here from a, one of my previous videos as well. So let's rinse these off. Rinse off my face a bit. And go in for the first field test, shall we? All right, this. For the first pass, both are doing marginally pretty well. I wouldn't say they're great, but they're not doing bad. Um, they've taken off the first layer of hair, which is nice. So that is a good thing. I will say I am not a fan of how this one feels on my face. Um, it could partly be because it is a very aggressive blade. But typically, feather blades don't usually make me feel like it's that rough of a shave. Sometimes they do, and that really depends on the razor that it's in. And it's I'm not loving the feel for it. So far, as far as the feel goes, this side with the Bic is actually uh, doing the best. As far as the shave, it's still too early to tell. Uh, they're running about neck and neck right now. Give or take. So let's let's go on for pass two and find out what happens next. And I do have I am nicking myself a bit, which isn't to be, which isn't unexpected, considering I am using the feather blade on this side. I do need to moisten the. I did have to moisten the brush a little bit. All right, so let's go in just to get a full coverage of the fate of the, the shave. So, so let's go in for pass two.
So pass two is done with the first half. Not quite as obvious on the amount of the hair that it took off on the razor at least. I'm not doing a field test quite yet, but you can't really see as much, which is to be expected on the second pass. Rinse off and field test two. All right, before we talk about how it feels to the touch with my hand, let's talk about how my face feels. This side with the double edge razor from Dollar Tree and the feather blade is feeling very rough. It's not super comfortable. Um, it actually is starting to sting a little bit. There's some definitely irritation that I'm feeling um, more so than on this side. And I think that has to do with, might have to do with the feather blade. I think the feather blade doesn't work well in this. But like I said, the feather blade works well in a lot of my other razors. So part of that has got to be the razor itself. This is a very, very cheap razor. It also doesn't have a large blade gap. So it's not an aggressive razor at all. So I should not be feeling this raw right now, um, but, but I am. Uh, this side is feeling much smoother. As far as how it feels to the actual touch for the hair, they are running a bit neck and neck. Hmm. Honestly, I think this side with the Bic is overall giving me a better shave, even as far as smoothness goes, as far as the, the closeness of the shave. So let's go ahead and, and do pass three, and that'll be the real tell. So let's do that. but you can see I definitely have more cuts over on this side, more weepers and more visible actual irritation than on the right side of my face. Um, and that's after actually cutting myself ever so slightly on my mole here. Um, there's still just more active irritation, visible irritation, more redness and everything else on the side from the the double-edged razor. All right, so let's go in four past three. All right. Okie dokie. Okay. Please excuse the dog barking in the background. Oh, I'm not, I'm not loving either of these if I'm being honest. All right, that's about halfway through. All right.
And yeah, I actually just said ow because honestly, this is starting to hurt now. And I'm going very light on my skin. I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm pressing very gentle. I don't love that. All right. Um, all right, that's going to be the end of it. So give me a second. see how we feel right off the bat as far as feeling on my face this side is actually hurting it feels very irritated um pretty badly actually um this side actually too a little bit but not as much hmm. you know after past three All right, three passes. The As far as the actual smoothness of the shave goes, this edges out the Bic, which actually surprised me because after pass two, I really thought it was going to go the other way. But after three full passes, this edges out the Bic ever so slightly. Um, honestly, it's, it's negligible. The difference is negligible. Um, you can actually still get a quite a decently close shave with this Bic razor as you can with this uh, cheap disposable Dollar Tree razor with a good blade in it. Um, with the feather blade, it really did eat up my skin. I mean, you can see it. Like, it's just, it's not pretty. Um, it ate up my skin pretty badly. So that is definitely something to keep in mind and it, it hurts. So it's not a combination I would recommend. I may have better luck with it with, uh, I'm gonna rub my Allen block on my face as I talk. Oh, that stings, that stings badly. That actually stings pretty, this side doesn't sting so much. It does a little bit, but not nearly to the amount that this side stung, so that, that says something. Um, the irritation is really bad on the side with the double edge. Now, again, that could be because of the blade. I did use arguably the more aggressive, the most aggressive blade on the market. Um, that being said, I have used my feather blade in more aggressive razors than that, and it didn't eat up my skin like this. So it's, I don't know. I, I will try it again with a lesser blade, but the issue that I'm going to be running into based solely on the feel is that that's going to be, it's not going to give me a close shave with any other blade. I mean, it may, but honestly, it took the feather blade to give me a decent shave here. It's not a baby S shave at all. It's, it's still got some growth there and everything so i think you need to take that into consideration whereas you know the big it the blade is in there the blade it is what it is it didn't eat up my skin and it gave me just shy of the same feel as as the double edge so overall the overall winner today simply by how it left my skin feeling is going to be this it's going to be this razor right here. Now, that being said, this one gave me the closer shave, but it ate up my skin and I had to use a feather blade in it because if I used a lesser blade, I really don't think it would have given me the shave that it did. Could I have made it work with a lesser blade? Yeah, possibly. But I don't know. 
it would not have it would not have been so good i don't think it would not have worked as well so that's it um those are my results your mileage may vary let me know in the comments below if you've used either of these what you think if you think i'm off base if you think it's accurate honestly my recommendation is don't really use either of these i mean this will work in a pinch it doesn't give much irritation it gives a decent shave so in a pinch i think you could definitely use this this razor at least with the feather blade i wouldn't recommend i remember it being better i will try it with a different blade again at some point maybe not on camera but i will just to see how it turns out um but that's it this is where i leave you as they say so that being said i hope you enjoyed this video i certainly enjoyed making it if you're watching this video and you have not yet please hit that subscribe button if you like this video you like all my videos hit that like button give me a comment below ring that bell icon for notifications if you do feel so inclined hit me up on social media that is instagram and twitter or x as it's being rebranded at the Dave Shaves. Hit me up on facebook.com slash the Dave Shaves. And if you do feel so inclined, please hit me up on patreon.com slash, you guessed it, the Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at the Dave Shaves.com. That being said, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.